What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame Rule 4. In this issue 125 from Builder DeLorean from Back to the Future, we're going to be doing the vent cables and the reactor base installation. So we're going to actually be inserting this reactor base that we've been building onto the vehicle itself. Make sure you have all your pieces there guys. Remember from the last issue we were missing a couple of pieces so do make sure you check them all. In this one it is showing us that we can continue the build if we want to after the final issues and go ahead and get the track. We're not going to be doing that at the moment. We are just going to be concentrating on this and doing a few more other things. But for now just make sure your pieces are there. You want 125A right exhaust vent cable and you want to make sure that that 125A has two blue bands and one grey band and it looks just like that. So you just wrap the bands around as you see in the picture. You will need 125B which is the left exhaust vent cable as well. Um, there's a reel of stickers and eight AP screws. When you um, have the next section which is 125B you just need to put two blue bands either end and the black band there just off centre from the middle. And if yours looks like that, then you're on the right track. Make sure you're getting around the right way. Just follow the diagrams as much as you can. Once you have done that, guys, the next thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go on to the reactor base itself and work on the reactor base. So what we'll do is we'll just install the sticker and then we'll show you whereabouts they go. So the first one is the red one which comes off the end here which is that pipe that should already be on there and then the second one is just down there behind the rear exhaust cow and that's the yellow band around there. So these are quite easy to do, they're just like stickers, just make sure you get them nice and tight and taut when you're doing them. We're going to be moving on to doing more of the stickers because most of this is just putting these uh, bands on. So on the back of the uh, reactor base or towards the back of it, there you go, so there, where it comes off there, you need to have a red and a grey band, so off the back of that cable there, and they need to be in that position, so just towards the centre, the red and the grey band. We will now have to move over to installing the uh, red band on the back there. We did that a bit quick, but that was just a red band on top of uh, the back of the DeLorean there. We'll, we'll have a detailed look at this later on. When you are done that, you need to install 125A with four AP screws on the side there, and then you need to make sure it's that one with them colored bands. So just make sure you put in the right one in the right position when you're doing this, guys, okay? Then you need to move over to the other side and install the other band on that side. So this is the one with the black band and that just goes down there like that. Once that's complete guys, you will now get to do the fun part which is install this reactor base onto the back of the vehicle. So I can't wait to do this because this is the bit that we've all been waiting for. I, I'm going to just show you as much as I can how to do this. It's quite fiddly to do. The main thing is to line it up flat on the base, connect 113E which is the red and yellow cable. That is the one that's been sitting on the back of the DeLorean for a long time. That as you're pushing it in just needs to be tucked down into the hole at the back and then once that's done the other wires or the other um, pipes and cables they just need pushing into the positions it shows in the magazine we'll try and show you as much as we can um, and it, with as much detail as we can uh, where they go so I'm just showing you where they go in here it's not very clear because it's such a jumbled mess but don't worry guys we are going to be taking this apart again at some stage and we're going to be able to show you that uh, when we can with some more detail. So as long as your bands are there, you can pause the video, zoom in and just check uh, the positioning of these and where they go. But the majority of where they've got to go is quite explanatory in the magazine itself. We're just trying to show you um, a nice detailed look of it. But there you go guys, so that is pretty much it. What you wanna do though, before you go ahead and uh, go on to the next issues is test all your lighting because you wanna make sure that they work because you will have the uh, orange round band on the back of the reactor base there as you can see and we want to make sure that we can see it so we're going to switch the lights off we're going to do a test we should always do tests every time we put something new on just to make sure everything's still working because if it isn't this is the stage where we want to go back and make sure what and see what's going on and just test it all so we're just going to lift the DeLorean up there so there you are and that is the orange band. Not great, not perfect, but we are doing, uh, you know, Chloe Powell's EL wire mod. So we will be showing you that in a lot more detail, uh, how and before and after video. So we're just going to switch the lights off a little bit more 
just so that you guys can check this out and see what this looks like in the dark. There you go, look at that, isn't that fantastic? The glow on that is so amazing. The flux bands actually don't look too bad, but from the side, they are just absolutely terrible. When we get these EL wire mods on from Chloe Powell, you are gonna absolutely love this and notice the difference so much. So that is pretty much what it should look like at this stage as a standard version with no modifications there. So that's what it will look like. So pretty pretty much uh, very good, you know. I am very happy with how this DeLorean's come together. The detail on this thing is phenomenal. And just, you know, I said it all the way through from, you know, issue one, the detail and the craftsmanship on this model is just absolutely amazing. I can't wait to add the magnet mods to it, show you guys how to do that, do the EL wire mod, and just do as many mic lane mods as we can you know and just get this looking is you know as much as it deserves just fantastic it really is right so guys we are just going to check next issue so the next one is exhaust cows again so that is the last bits to finish off the back of the exhausts can't wait to do that please join me for the next video please like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one take care now bye bye